Hello everyone, welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator by Skyhook Games. Been looking forward to this one for a while and we finally have a playable demo here on Steam. It is only for a few days, I believe. So let's get started on our career. Let's get started in career mode. In this mode, you create your own lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers, and unlock new contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with a name, logo, and uniform. Okay, cool. All right, let's do Faviano Mowing. Or let's, you know, like lawn. There we go, Faviano Lawn. That that works for me. Hit okay on that. Uh, now we need a company logo. Ooh, nice. Um, I think we're gonna go with, that's kind of cool looking. Company logo there. Um, That's actually not a bad one there either, but I like that. Let's go with this one. Perfect, and we need to edit our player now. On the screen, you can customize your in-game appearance of your player avatar, as well as their physical appearance. You can change the colors of the company uniform and where your company logo is displayed. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so player name, we've already done that. We can change the avatar here. There's a ton to choose from here, wow. The avatar that looks the closest to me is gonna be avatar number five, so we will take him. Change out the hat. I like the black hat, actually. So we're gonna be white and black uniforms because that's kind of my colors, you know, so why not do it that way? Uh, we need to change the logo placement. Okay, so we can move him around with my right stick. There we go, so you can go front only, back only, no logo. Okay, I like the front and the back. I think that's actually pretty cool. There we go, awesome. Actually, you know what? I don't think I like that. I think I like front only. Yeah, there we go. Uniform colors, here we go. Now we can change this out. So I'm gonna put this to white. There we go, and confirm that. And I guess that's it. That's our dude. We can confirm Fabiana Lawn. Look at that, we have 3,000 pounds to start with. I like that. Are you happy with your company setup? Ex select, accept to start, or back if you wanna make more changes. Let's do it. Test drive. Now you have a company of your own. You will need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below and take it for a test drive. Ooh. So these are probably not available to us, but look at all the different mowers that are in this game. Wow. There are a lot to choose from here. I do like that. And they're, I, they're real brands too. You know, you got Toro and all them. Um, Let's go with this little guy or this one. Let's go with this one here. Let's see if we like this. Welcome to the test drive area. Here you can familiarize yourself with a particular vehicle in condition similar to a real contract. Approach the vehicle to get on it. Use left and right to look around. Okay, gotcha. Ooh, oh, there it is right there. Oh, that's nice. Man, the graphics look great. Um, Considering that I believe this is Unity. I mean, not that there's a, I have nothing against Unity. We won't even jump into that. Okay, <laughs> once you're on your vehicle, You'll need to get started on onto the grass. Each vehicle is slightly different to get going. And okay, so drive to the grass with the vehicle started. Take a moment to get used to it and then drive over the grass and start cutting. Okay, that makes sense. Whoa, hello, sir. Hello, let's start it up. Hold it down. That's a good sound and engine right there. All right, let's go ahead and we change the right and left for the, wow, that's your throttle. Just like a real one, that's kind of cool. And the cut height is up and down on the D-pad, okay. Engage the blades with X. All right, so cut height set to two and a quarter. All right, dude, this is awesome. I've been really looking forward to this. I know it sounds stupid, but man, I'll tell you what, I am excited. All right, we can engage the blades. I think we have to put them down first, don't we? So X to engage and disengage the blades. So we need to put them down. Is it B? Yeah, B, there we go. And then turn it on. And we're in action. Let's do it. All right. Getting ready to cut. Once on the grass, you now need to get your deck ready. You already did that. You should only ever turn your blades on when grass. Oh, yeah, we know that. When a contract, you're required to cut the grass certain height. Okay, I got you. Uh, range between five and six and cut 10% of the grass. Okay. While cutting, you can track your progress with the bar in the top right. The progress bar shows how much of the required amount you have cut. Grass cut at the correct height fills with the bar white. Grass is cut too short fills the bar with red. All right, I switched everything over to metric, so cut height is to six now. Let's see how this works for us here. Go easy on it. And we are cutting grass just like that, folks. Woohoo! Look at, look at him go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, I screwed that up a little bit, but hey, you know what? We're not very good yet. We'll get the hang of it. 
Oh, when you get it going, man, it goes. Look at that. I can probably invert my stick for the camera. That might be a little helpful. But we only have to do 10%, I believe, is what they said. So this is a nice... I like this mower because it really matches our company, you know? It's really sleek looking. Not bad at all. I know we can change the, the view. We'll check that out here in a second. Okay, slow down. Let's try Y. Yep, Y is there. It is right there. And you can change the FOV of it too. So let's do that. So the first person FOV is only for the first person when you're walking, it seems. It doesn't seem like it is for anything else. So keep that in mind. Just cutting some grass. And we're, I think we're doing a pretty decent job. As long as we keep that where it needs to be. Yeah, we're cutting it pretty decent there. Let's back it up a little bit here. There we go. Oh man, okay, getting used to the camera. There we go. Once we have it where we need it, it's in a good spot. Get right on around. Oh, this is awesome. I know, grass mowing simulator, everybody. <laughs> Lawn mowing simulator. So right click to get out of that. Nope, why to get out of that? Okay, that was strange. Oh, that's a different camera view there. Okay, so there's different camera views. I kind of like this one the best. I can really see what I'm doing. My little guy looks pretty slick in his black with white trim uniform. I'm very happy about that. All right, zoom, maybe zoom in with that. I don't know. What do the bumpers do? Anything? You can, get, you can take your time around these corners too. That's really cool. So you don't have to just like, you know, slam the gas and get going. The controls are actually pretty decent on a controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller here and it is doing a really good job. So let's say we have vehicle condition, engine condition, blade condition. So those are things that'll probably matter later in the game. I'm just getting used to the camera. Kind of getting a snow runner, spin tires ish camera view system feeling going here. All right, I gotta get 10% done to this. Let's get to work. Pro view. By holding down right stick, you can engage pro view, which highlights areas of grass that have not been cut to the required height. All right, so useful when you're trying to find the last bits. You got it. Let's try pro view out. There it is. Oh, look at that. He's a pro. He's like, damn. I know I'm not supposed to be doing that. Now, the true question is, can we do diamond patterns? Can we do lines? I'm pretty sure you can, because they have shown that in their campaign, hyping this game up. And hats off to Skyhook, because I haven't missed a day. Like, they're very active on promoting this game, and that's really good to see. I, I, you like to see it when companies do that. Man, this is actually really satisfying. This is strangely fun. A lot more fun than you would think. But I mean, we played other games too, you know? And when they went to demo this game, there's a bunch of different Sims that were released as well. We're all, we're gonna be checking those out this week too. But this isn't bad at all. I'm using an Xbox controller and I like it. Now, when we get, you know, wheel support, that's gonna be amazing. Wheel support with some track IR, man. I could get down with that for sure. All right, almost there to the 10% mark. Let's do it. Contract progress. Great work in a real contract. However, you'll be expected to cut all the grass. When a contract's been completed, you have to drive your vehicle back onto the trailer to end it. Okay. So let's kill our throttle here for a second. Well, I remember how to do it. Well, I just turned it off. Never mind. Let's start the engine again. I was an idiot there. Throttle's definitely down now. It's, it is this. There you go. Okay, I see how it works. All right, a little bit of throttle here. And we can bring these blades up. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And drive across this person's... Lo Look at that. It has grass physics like that. Remembers where you drove the mower. That's cool. Very neat indeed. All right, so pretty simple. Straightforward, you know. But it's pretty darn good is pretty darn good nicely done skyhook the hype was real for me oh what's up on to here hey we did it test drive after completing the first test drive you can now purchase the vehicle or if you would like you can try the other one should we try the other one i think we need to get to work don't we so I, i'm gonna actually let's test drive it just for a little bit all right yellow mower let's try you out so let's fire up the engine Got a different sound to it. Very nice. Bring up the throttle. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> oh, I like this one. This one's cool. All right, cut height. We need to change that to six. There we go. And we have to drop the blades down with B. They're not telling us to do that, but I figured that out before. Or maybe not this one. You don't have to. So let's engage the mower and we should be off to the races here. Yep, it's cut. It's cutting. And I assume it's going to go into that little, little back piece there. That's what it looks like. Oh, this thing's got some speed in her, man. Look at that. You take your time, of course. Sounds are really well done. I like the sounds. I like the sounds of that. Put a much better job this time around, except for a little bit there I left. I'm seeing how far we can actually get in the bushes. And you can get into the bushes quite a bit, as you should have to, you know, in, in the real world. So that's working out for us there. Can't get over how fast this thing is. This thing's a lot quicker than the last one. All right, let's shut those off there. And we're going to go take this thing over to the trailer, see if it'll let us get out of here. I'm not sure if it will let us or not, but we're about to find out, aren't we? Drive her on up onto there, buddy. There you go. And the test drive. Yep, we're definitely going with the night lawnmowers. You can see right there, drive systems, rear wheel drive. You can see all the specs there. I mean, that one's cool because it's got a collector, but that one's a mulcher. I think we're going to go with this one. We're going to purchase it. Yes, we are. It's 250 pounds, it looks like. And now we have contracts to select. This is the contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company is set up and you have a mower. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map to open it for setup. Okay. So front garden, old nook cottage. There we go. Value is 330 pounds. RP value of 50. Complexity is like nothing on it. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that one. It's the only one we have anyway. Once you select a contract, you can see information about its value and requirements. If you wish to accept the contract, you first need to assign an employee and a vehicle. Select either the employee or vehicle option to the left next. Okay, so employee, that's going to be me. There I am. And vehicle's going to be that one right there. Sweet. Confirm the contract. Let's do it. As you set up and confirm contracts, their pin on the map will turn yellow. And the contract that you are assigned to will have a star displayed. With the first contract confirmed, you can start it and head to the location to begin cutting. The load time was right around probably five seconds, to be perfectly honest with you here. So cut heights between five and six. We're going to go with five on this, a little short. There's some stuff in the yard they didn't pick up. Gotta love it. Ground check phase. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects the grass in the grass area that could either be damaged or damage your vehicle. You can choose to skip the ground check and have the objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower, but this means you would you don't earn any more RP or money. Okay. Well, whoa, that's always scary when that happens. All right, so basically we're going to be doing... Oh, that's a nice car they got here, isn't it? Wow. James Bond's house today. Yep, looks like it. All right, so we know we saw in that little shot that there's garbage. Okay, you see the FOV is like really zoomed out. I'm going to change that. There we go. All right, much better. Let's pick this stuff up. So it looks like there's a ball that was in the yard. We saw that rocket ship over here that I guess the kids left out. You can sprint with RB. Okay, we will do that in a second. There we go. There's our sprint. So you can... Oh, a guarding gnome. Well, hello, Keem. All right, we'll take you away. And anything else happening here today in this yard? I bet... Ooh, yep. That would be bad. That would not be good. All right. We completed the ground check. Return to the trailer and unload. Well, this doesn't look too bad of a yard to get, you know, started with here. A lovely, lovely little cottage here. Okay. We are ready to do this. Recover with Y, get on vehicle with A. Okay. Contract cutting. With the ground check complete, it's time to start cutting some grass. Start up your vehicle and drive it along to begin. Remember, we're going to do five on this one here. So let's hold X to start the engine. Oh, yeah. Get that throttle up. And we are rolling. We're off to the races here. So we're going to remember to bring the thing down once we do that. So let's change our cut height. Down to five. There we go. Five centimeters. And we are going to be ready to go here if I just go ahead and drop this deck down like that and engage the blades. All right. So your performance during cutting will affect how much money and RP you earn from the contract. You need to find the balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. All right. Wish me luck, folks. Here we go. Penalty. You destroyed a flower. Okay, you, you don't want to destroy their flowers. They're lovely little flowers. So 
We're going to edge first, and then we're going to go into straight lines. I think that's what we're going to do first. That just seems like the best route here. I just got to watch out and not destroy their flowers and make them all upset at me, you know? That wouldn't be good at all. Not hitting your flowers, just going around the edge here. Oh, that's going to be a little tricky one to get there. I'm sure we can do it, though. Don't hit their flowers. All right. What's funny is the lawn care services we've had before around this way when we lived in an HOA and stuff, man, it was like devastating if they would run over people's flowers. All right, let's go around this way. Right, I'm going to edge this and then we'll get the lines going here. I've gotten more confident in my grass cutting skills. I'm running this thing wide open now. Oh, you better believe it. This is a better cut yard, actually. I like that we have an actual boundary we can follow here. Oh, I missed a little bit of grass there. Don't run over their flowers. Let's do a diagonal cut on this one. That works for me. Whoa, you heard it bog down there. I guess maybe the the grass was a little too wet or something. Not sure. Oh, we are now cutting in a diagonal. And look at that. This thing is actually doing pretty good with the turning in reverse. I haven't done that yet. Not bad at all. This just seems like a, a no-brainer to me right now to do it this way. I don't know, with this style of mower, I'm not sure if uh, going across diagonal like that is the fastest way. You can see how much I've got done in the yard so far. We're 30% there. We just need to do a little bit better. I'm gonna keep going around this. I think this is gonna be the best way to do it because it doesn't seem like we're getting actual lines put down anyway. Not sure why it bogs down like that. I mean, that's realistic when you hit wet grass in real life, you know? No, I gotta say, if you like Farming Simulator and the grass cutting in that, you are going to love this. Boy, do we got a game for you if that is your cup of tea. Well, I hit their little sidewalk area over there with the blades, and that was not good. We got a penalty and damage to the vehicle. I actually see the vehicle in condition right there. And you can also see that there is a empty and full fuel gauge down there, and it has gone down, but not that significant. So I'm not sure how much fuel is going to have to play in this game. But we'll find out, won't we? We're almost done with this side of the yard. Now the flower damage, it is really difficult to get that edge. You know, like these little scrap, these scraps that are left over. And you're trying to get them on the edge there. You can really damage those flowers pretty easily. So keep that in mind. I seem to be doing better if I keep this inside view here and I keep my little wheel right on the edge. Well, that might've been too much there. Let's see. Yep, that was a little too much. See how we missed it? Okay, so you gotta keep that wheel like right on the edge there and it'll be perfect, so. Good to know. Track iron would be really nice, but we've already talked about that. Okay, I'm getting ground damage, so I guess that I'm doing something that is causing that to tear up the ground. Maybe our blade cut height is too low. Maybe we should have went with six. I'm not really sure what I did wrong there. Hasn't really schooled me on that one yet, saying how I damaged the ground, but I did damage the ground, so. And you can see it too across the ground over there, that dirt long streak. Oh, did something there too, it keeps bogging down. I think you can't take turns that fast because it seems to tear up the ground. So you have to go a little slower with your turns. That makes sense, okay. Wow, I mean, there's a lot here, you know, for a playable demo of grass cutting, so of lawn mower simulator. See, I'm taking the turn a lot slower and we're not tearing the yard up. So you have to take your turns a lot slower. That's kind of cool that they added that. I wonder if we lifted the nose up, if that would fix that problem. Well, I'm getting to the point where I'm just kind of destroying a lot of flowers, so. Um, gotta slow it down, I guess. I'm going too fast. Get these little spots right here before we finish up the rest of the yard. We're almost done. We're at 98.7 on the lawn, so that's good news for us. Got to be careful right there. You can't just bomb it in there. Tears up the blades on that concrete. They don't like that. Cutting complete. With the cutting complete, you can now drive back to the trailer. Okay, if you have time left, you can use up to clean up any grass clippings you left on the paths to avoid any cleanup fees. Okay. Well, we'll do that. I can see some that I have left behind, like right here. Oop, don't want to hit that too hard. And over here, get that stuff. There we go. And I have a whole patch over here I haven't finished up yet. But I wanted to kind of make sure I was getting the little edges done, especially around that thing. There's a little bit there left. Yeah, you can see where that really tore that up there. That's kind of scary. Not scary, but you know what I mean. 
Maybe you don't know what I mean. Just this little bit left right here. We can get it all in one. Nope, couldn't get it in that one shot there. I see a little bit of grass around that thing over there, maybe. Hard to say. No, I think that's good to go. All right. Well, let's go ahead and we will lift this thing up. And we'll take it back. But yeah, over here, you can see right there, I was tearing the yard up accidentally. Right where those tracks are. That was from turning too hard, I guess. Cool that they added that little thing into it. All right. A job decently done today. Let's complete our contract, shall we? On up we go, bud. All right, front garden, old nook cottage is complete. Very nice. Eh, we missed a little bit there right in the in that bush spot, but mm, I mean, it could have been better. You can see we really tore the yard up right there. And here we go. So ground check time bonus. The problem was $12.74 with penalties. So that was flowers, ground objects, no, collisions, Cleanup fee was nothing, so that's good. We did pretty good. Ground damage was 124, so I think that's what it was. No incorrect cut height penalty on that. Maybe we should have had to lift it a little bit. We made 340 pounds off it. I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to say, hey, you know, job decently done. Let's continue. This is the vehicle garage. Here you can fix damaged vehicles, view statistics. You can purchase attachments, part, exchange vehicles, or purchase new ones. First, though, let's select your current vehicle so you can maintain it. Okay. And the screen shows you all the information you need to keep track of your vehicle's performance and status. Let's maintain your vehicle to get it ready for the next contract. This is pretty cool that they have this in here. It's important to keep your vehicles well maintained and fixed. Ideally, after each contract, you should visit the garage, refilling the fuel tank and fixing any damage. You can see the status of your vehicle to the left of the screen. If your vehicle needs attention, see to it now before returning to the contract map B via LB and RB. Okay, so repair. Here we go. We have a full repair or just repair. I don't know what that means. I think that's everything. Yeah. Let's just, let's see what we all did there. So vehicle needs a little bit of repair there. Oh, full repair on that. That's what, I guess that's what it means. Okay. Gotcha. And same with this. Your vehicle's engine's damaged. Okay. And blades. There you go. Fill the fuel up. And it's done. Well, there you have it, folks. That is Lawn Mowing Simulator. We have completed what we can do here. I checked and I didn't see any options for us to go into any other of the any other maps or anything. So they only have this one in this demo, but we will definitely keep an eye on this game. There's a lot there and hopefully it will release soon, but that'll do it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Just want to let you guys know that uh, merch is available. If you check out the link in the description below and uh, there should be some images you can click on below the video as well. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I do appreciate it.